He always had a pillow in the cab tractor because it was pretty much guarantee I'd be, I'd be asleep or my brother would be asleep within an hour probably. I am Danny Wasserman, a farmer from Boone, Missouri, and this is my story. I grew up um, on the farm, my grandpa's place, and then my dad took it over, and so I just grew up helping dad. Oh, the fondest memory would probably be when I was little, just um, either riding with dad in the tractor, falling asleep, he always carried a pillow, falling asleep in there, or working, you know, with him with feeding the cows, you know, in the truck. When I was little, I would say that's just probably my, my fondest memories. He always had a pillow in the cab tractor, because it was pretty much guarantee I'd be, I'd be asleep, or my brother would be asleep within an hour, probably. And there's some consumers probably don't know that you know food don't just come from the grocery store. You you know you have to, you know you grow it and you got to raise it. And it costs money to do all that, and so when they go to the grocery store to buy something, it you know they're just not getting it from the store. They're, it comes from someplace. Agriculture is producing that product, and it costs money to produce that product. I wish they knew that we don't you know don't mistreat the animals, and you know we don't do wrong with the crops. You know we don't use chemicals we're not supposed to use. We follow the guidelines and. It's not harmful, and you know we're not, you know, ruining the environment. Yeah, we built this barn in um, in the summer of 13, 2013, and uh, we just the all, all outside lots were just getting um, run down, fences were shot, and everything. It was either rebuild a bunch of lots, or and so we was able to put this up and put 320 head of cattle in it, and the weather's not an issue no more. You know, I mean, yes, it still gets hot in the summer. It gets good ventilation. But in the summertime, we used to have big cattle go, sometimes go completely off feet, you know. And I, you know, there are times that when it gets hot in the summer, these cattle will slow off on feed. That has happened, but they don't go completely off. And there, you know, no snow, no mud to walk through to fight, and uh, they don't have to. They don't. They don't have to burn a lot of energy. When we actually built this barn, we uh, set the bunks ourselves. And uh, we had a chain, and I was moving, and my brother was running the skid loader, and I was guiding around, and the bump fell. And so I only have nine toes, my wife says now. It smashed my, one of my big toes, and I lost about two-thirds of it had to cut it off. So now the big joke is that I have nine toes. So I'd say that's probably the best story I got. When, when we put the barn up, we had to build facilities, and um, we tried to, uh, tried to make it where Nobody has to, I mean, you got to get in the pen with cattle and some, all our cattle calm, but you'll have some that get, you know, wild, but have gates close to where you can get in and out of if you need to. And so we set our alleyway up working cattle that my, little, my younger brother always pushes them up and he can always stay behind a gate. He can close the gate and push them up to the next gate. So just do the best we can to be safe. It's not like it was years ago and you get out of rope and you, you know, they get crazy. So.